Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey everybody! Today with another budget friendly background. Um, we know all those tissue papers like from Tim Holtz. They work really well in backgrounds. I even haven't used it. They're quite pricey. And the other thing is everybody has the same. I mean, they're nice, but today we're gonna work on our own version of tissue paper. So all we need is basically stamps, inks in different colors. We're even gonna make them multicolored, that, but that's totally up to you. You could use just black. But hey, why not? I love colors. So stamps, tissue paper and I fold it in two because sometimes the inks even bleeds through the second layer. And a different assortment of stamp. I tend to have one side like a, a motif, kind of hard to see. It's, it's a swallow. It's from this stamp set with this uh, Fisker stamp set. So I'm gonna use this bird. I do have uh, an old script stamp. No idea what it is. I, again, no idea what brand it is. Some random spirals and a feather. And I do have different kind of colors of stays on it. You can use any sort of um, ink you want. Uh, just I happen to have those. Depending whether you are okay with it when it is bleeding, uh, I would recommend some permanent ink. So now I have to decide which um, color with which stamp. I think I go for this arrangement. The bird gonna be in black. The script gonna be in purple. And good blue. Okay, so uh, it's a simple process. It just takes a little bit of time. And I think we're gonna start with the spirals. Make sure that you have a well saturated ink pad. Well, that's more brown than orange. Oh well. So as you, maybe you can see, it does bleed through a bit. And I'm gonna speed up the process. I don't make you watch me stamping in real time. And by the way, I'm working on a non-stick uh, craft mat. So, easy clean up. Next I'm gonna go in with the script stamp. Okay, that needs some cleaning, I guess. Oh well.
from what I can see the last time I have used mica powder that's why it is so shimmery and that makes it that it doesn't stick to the acrylic block so this stamp gonna go in a serious bath afterwards I just use soap and water Now, before I'm going to use the tissue paper, our homemade printed tissue paper, I'm going to use some, um, this is probably for under the carpet so they don't slide around, but I use it as a stencil. I have my food lid and some paint to start with. Oops, oh, that's way more than what I need. And uh, I'm gonna add some stenciling just in random places, not everywhere. I usually go directly on top of the tissue paper because it's thin enough the mod podge or the medium or whatever gonna you use gonna see bright too no big deal and then start from the middle if you don't want wrinkles and I don't care what direction the writing goes one thing uh, you have to be careful about is uh, don't be stingy with your mod pouch or medium or whatever you use when you attach it or it's gonna rip. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't want. And I think this I'm gonna check for a variation. I'm gonna crinkle up a bit and gonna add it with wrinkles. just to have a little bit of texture also. So for the next step it has really to be dry because we're going to use some painter's tape. That's not a background for me yet, I would like a little bit more going on. I 
we're gonna do stripes with the painter's tape. sure that I have the edges really down because otherwise the paint is going to seep underneath. So this time I did pick an artist grade color. The thing with the craft paints, they are always opaque, but I don't want to cover up completely what I have underneath here. So that's why I did grab one of those uh, artist grade colors, which have some paints which are more transparent. You have to careful watch if there is the square completely blacked out, then it isn't transparent either. So, but this is half transparent so that's fine with me some are already very transparent not this one specifically but there are those out there so that's what i'm going to use this way i don't cover up completely what i have with my tissue paper and my already stenciled paint here and as usual i did also grab a, a cosmetic sponge again and I'm going to use the tape as palette, so you can still see what I have underneath and that's what I like about the transparent paints. I don't want to cover up everything. have even more variation. I'm going to go over in some areas to intensify the color. I recommend doing it a little bit slowly, especially where the tissue paper is, so you don't risk to pull up the tissue paper. bit of the tissue paper that's why it is better if you do it slowly I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again take care